Are the glory days of the indomitable lionesses of Cameroon truly over? That is a question many fans have been asking themselves since the start of the WAFCON 2022 in Morocco. Cameroon, who has always been considered as favourites in every edition of the tournament, is struggling to find her foot in Casablanca. From invading tie with Zambia to a one-all draw with the, with the Sparrow Hawks of Togo. Even though the coach and players keep reassuring the fans of a rebound, Cameroonians are still worried, self-interrogating the season we will see good replacement of ace players like Engana Mwet, Ngonomani, or even Fergio Raisa. The golden generation may have left us with the likes of Abudi Ongene, Owona, Ajara, or Abam, but their insufficiencies can still be felt in every encounters. In both games played at the Women Africa Cup of Nations, one can point out the absence of quality in the midfield, with the attacking line condemned to the wings, making the game predictable even before it's played. The lack of great finishers is also a problem. Many are those who have called out Zabo for his lack of skills, charisma, tactics for a coach of a national team. Cameroon has just one chance to bounce back in the tournament, one that will be tough as Tunisia is out to crush every opponent that stands in their way of reaching the semi-finals. After their one or tie with Togo on Wednesday, the indomitable lionesses are back at the Lalbi Zauli Stadium for training. With no time to sulk over their disappointing game as considered by several fans, Abudi Ongeni and teammates are getting set both physically and mentally for their last shot at the knockout rounds which will be against Tunisia. Cameroon will still occupy third place with two points, need a win in order to finish amongst the top two teams in Group B or a draw in order to be considered amongst the two best third places to make it to the knockout rounds. A difficult but unachievable task that will need a lot more from the players who have been void of a great finisher to convert all their chances to goals. A lot more will also have to be done around the midfield as those positioned there lack the tactics and skills to move the game up front. In the post-match press conference, coach Gabriel Zabu assures him a more ruthless game plan against Tunisia. Tout simplement, dans un match encore un peu compliqué, très difficile, compliqué. Mais il va falloir que. The match against Tunisia will be difficult. It would need us to come out of our comfort zone in order to win. It will never be easy for us. We are looking forward to a very difficult game. We want to go to the next round. That's why we are ready to give in our all. Fingers crossed, with hopes that Cameroonians can at least leave just a glimpse of the gold in 2016 WAFCON H in Morocco.